Welcome to the 2024 Boys Goalie of the Year Award. This year, we had several great candidates nominated. Here are the high school boys. Joe Bertram, Edina High School. Nick Hansen, St. Cloud Cathedral. And Giannis Kemp from Southwest Christian Richfield. And here are the youth finalists. Finn Hansen, Warroad Bantam A. Carter Nash, Hermantown Bantam AA. Colin Hart, Bemidji Pee Wee B. And Owen Ryan from White Bear Lake Pee Wee AA. This year's winner, undefeated, Nick Hansen. Come on in. Congratulations, Nick. Well-deserved award. Yeah, thank you. Um, you were uh, the reason Danny, Ryan, and myself picked you as uh, the our champion in our Class A uh, hockey pool because I thought, you know what? This kid's undefeated. He hasn't lost this year. He doesn't know what losing feels like. It's not going to chain, un change under the bright lights. What was it like this year to be undefeated? I know your team lost a few while you were out injured, but what was it like to be undefeated? Did you have a little pressure? Like, hey, I don't want to lose, or you just didn't even think about it? Uh, at the beginning of the season and towards the end, it was like, uh, like I'll just try to stop the puck here. If we lose a game or two, it's all right. It's not the end of the season yet. So, right. And then once we hit that final stretch where it's like right before the playoffs, it's like, oh, I could really do this right now. We really think that we could win. So we just decided to lock in and decided to win the state tournament, go undefeated. There was one moment uh, during the state semis against World, which will stand in infamy uh, because it's something that is rarely seen where a goal, call that by the book would have been a no goal call uh, came out of sight of the official. They overturned it and actually called it a goal. It was a goal scored on you. What was going through your head at that point? Five, six minutes left in the state semis. Now you're down by a goal and a really tight hockey game. What's going through the goalie's head at that point? Well, like right when it happened, I was like, there's no chance. It's He called it no goal. I looked behind me. He's, he's got, he waved it off. So I'm like, okay, there's nothing they can really prove right here. The intent of the whistle was no goal. And then they go to review and I'm like, they're sitting there talking for that was the next long. question. How long did it seem long? Oh my, it felt like 15, Forever. 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm sitting there on my right. knee and I'm just like, oh, please don't do this to me, please. So don't. the longer it went on, mm -hmm. the, it's kind of like a jury. Like the jury was, the longer the jury waits, you're going to probably get the opposite response, yeah. right? Yeah, and it was just, it was an unbelievably tough feeling right when they called it. And then luckily, Johnny, Joey, and Dwin were able to lock in right at that end. I disagree with you. It was not luck. <laughs> there was a lot of skill and a lot of determination from your teammates in that moment. And mm -hmm. it was probably inspiring when, when you got, were you on the bench when it went in? Yes, I was. You did make it to the bench. Uh -huh. I was Bailey sitting there goalie, praying. And they scored. And then you had to end up winning in overtime. Um, I bet that was a huge relief thinking like you might have cost yourself the team and not mm -hmm. gotten the undefeated record, preserved the undefeated record. But I thought it was also a great feeling knowing, hey, we won consolation last year. Now we're going to win the real prize this mm -hmm. year. I think we set that as our goal right after the state tournament last year. We're like, we, we're bringing a lot of guys back. I think we can, or we all started just, we all thought of the goal and we're just like, I think we can win it. I, I believed in you after I had seen you guys play a few times. I, the, the victory, the last second victory in, in World was a telling sign of mm -hmm. the things to come. I'm sure after that game, you guys were like, we got this, right? Yeah. And did the injury, uh, was there ever a threat of you being injured and being out for the year? Or did you guys kind of know it was just going to be a week to week kind of thing? Well, when it first happened, it popped, like my shoulder popped out. And then we, once we got it back in, I was, I was ready to go. Right, right, right then, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I wasn't feeling that. I didn't hurt that much in the moment. I was ready to go. And then our coaches decided it wasn't worth it. And then to go get it checked out, we got it checked out. We just decided we'll wait a couple of weeks. We'll do some PT, try to and see what happens from there. If I keep having it pop out, then there was the scare of my doctor telling me that well, right. you're done. But nothing happened. Then, yes. Right? Okay. Nothing. Knock on wood. All those. Mm -hmm. Well, we got to do the Catholic thing, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, last thing. Um, you won your state title, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you guys come out. You you win. Um, avenge a loss, right? To Hermantown mm -hmm. that you lost to earlier in the year. Uh, what was that like? What was going through your head when the when the final buzzer went off and you guys got the title? Uh, the probably the greatest feeling I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, it's been a dream of mine since I started playing hockey at six, seven years old. So it was an unreal feeling. I mean, losing to Hermantown that first time, not being able to play that. And then our coach Robbie setting the goal of going 15 and 0 right after that, right after that game was just, 
what set the tone and then we were able to revenge our loss right in that championship game against them. You Mitch, Coach Stucker, do you have some, I'm sure you'd love to thank him and some others helped mm -hmm. you get this far in your career. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom, Dion, and my dad, Scott. Uh, they brought me around everywhere. I had to convince them to let me play goalie when we were- Sure, that was a fun conversation. <laughs> it was, yes. It was a lot easier once the only goalie in our association at my age level had left, but it, right. took, it took a lot of work to get through there. And then obviously I'd like to thank Coach Stocker. I mean, we were he was my coach all four years in high school as an assistant my freshman year, and then stepped up as the head coach after then. And then obviously uh, my goalie coach who I've worked with ever since I started playing goalie and was also my goalie coach for my high school team, Cal Harold. Okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Uh, last but not least, what are your plans? I'm sure a, a great goaltender like self, is, there's junior teams probably crawling out of the woodwork trying to get your services for next year. Do you have a place where you're going or you're still trying to make up your mind? Uh, we don't have a set in stone place, but I will be signing a tender in the NA3 in the upcoming couple days okay. here with uh, the Granite City Lumberjacks. Awesome, staying home. That'd mm -hmm. be a good opportunity. Maybe there's other opportunities as well. Yep. I think you got a very bright future. Uh, one of the best goaltenders we've seen come through the state in the last few years. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Nick Hansen, this year's Boys Goalie of the Year. Stop